Tuesday, dropped the kids at school and then came home and went for a run. And then I thought I'll work from home and do some voiceover work that I really need to do. But, I really enjoyed working from home this morning. As well as doing the voiceover work, I enjoyed having a decent coffee and I did some client calls. Like having calls in the office isn't that easy unless like one of the meeting rooms is available and you can jump in one of those. I've been offered a two day job next week which is actually off the back of a consultation I did a couple of weeks ago. And it would be me being part of like the casting process. And I really want to say yes. It's in London, it's not that hard to get to. But this is the problem I have, it's like, Tuesday after school, it's piano. Wednesday after school, it's swimming. And obviously that falls to me because I'm meant to be here. And so it's really tempting just to turn down the the job because it's so much hassle trying to sort it out but equally I kind of don't want to because it's a really good project and I really like working with the company as well I don't know what to do really frustrating I keep working through all the different permutations of possible childcare that could free me up next week this is why it's easier just to say no because it's like this nagging thing now but i need to try and solve so a few weeks ago i tried recording the podcast at the co-work space but of course it's too echoey so i've bought a sort of soundproof box concoction to try and go around the microphone. Trying to build it was a bit of a nightmare and in doing so I ended up breaking the cradle that my microphone sits in. Do you know this morning's walk in has been flipping lovely. Like we were running late, I was quite stressed with the kids so I drove them in but instead of just driving into town, I parked further out and then walked along the river through the park. Um, if I had been working at home, I would have simply driven home and then walked into the house. And I would have missed that chance to like unwind all the stress of running late for school. Yeah, there's something to be said for a, an on-foot commute. So, six o'clock, uh, the kids are fed, my wife's home, so I'm just popping out to try and find my Amazon parcel from the Amazon locker. And you can see how many parcels we missed yesterday. Basically, we've got in the habit of ordering stuff online, knowing that I will always be around. And of course, now I'm not. Well, that was easy. Much better than knocking on neighbours' doors and annoying them. Today, I've edited the vlog and put that up. I've been trying to get it out every Wednesday, it's now Thursday, but last night when I would have been editing it, my wife and I ended up watching a new TV show and then we ended up drinking wine and having quite an in-depth chat and I thought, you know what? <laughs> Nobody cares. 
Nobody cares if it's the daylight. I have a real person in front of me. But my wife is at home today, so she was able to pick up the kids, which is why I've ended up staying later. to the school gates to pick up our son and he's decided to go home with one of his mates. So <laughs> our daughter's in a club and I'm on my Todd. Needn't have left the co-work space as early as I did but I'm not going to go back there. I'm just going to go home, have a cup of tea and enjoy the peace, the rare solitude. Chat to Susie Cat before going back and getting our daughter uh, out tonight for uh, joint 40th birthday of some friends of ours. So yeah, a fun start to the weekend. It's really flipping windy and there's a tree on the line. That train is going in the opposite direction but there's none going into London so there goes my night out. Starting to feel stupid for even trying. Saturday evening, just popped back to the workspace because I realised I forgot to copy off the files I need for this vlog, this vlog that you are watching right now. So if I'm going to edit it at all this weekend, which I need to because I'm not going to be around on Tuesday and Wednesday next week, I need to get ahead of myself. By the way, the other good thing about that pot plant is that it acts as a little place to prop up my camera. Because at the moment, every time I want to take a shot in different places, I have to go and prop it up with a mug or my wallet or nice sturdy pot plant. I wonder if that pot plant makes it good. Aha! That's a good angle. If I put the pot plant back there, you get a good angle. Oh, I could prop it up on the plant itself. In amongst the... I tell you what, I might experiment with this when you don't have to watch it. Plus side, I've managed to sort childcare for next week, which is awesome. As it happens, I'm now really looking forward to next week in London. Should be fun. 